exponential equations show up in a lot of application problems. Let's take a look at how to solve them. Here's an example of a simple exponential equation. So by exponential equation, I mean we have an exponential function, like this one, on one side of the equation. We want to know when it will equal a certain value. What input for x will make this true? As usual, we want to try to isolate the unknown x. And if you think about what happens when you plug a number in for x, the first thing you do after you plug it in is multiply it by 2. And then that becomes the power of the exponential function here. So the term for that is exponentiating. We are exponentiating 2 to the 2x. So how do we undo exponentiation? What's the opposite operation? That's a logarithm. So to undo exponentiation, we use a logarithm. And when your exponentiation is with base e, the corresponding logarithm is the natural log, which we usually write as ln. So ln of x is another way of writing log base e of x. And so the logarithm base e is the inverse of the exponential function e to the x. What that means is if I take natural log of e to the x, I just get x back. That's the key fact we can use to simplify these exponential equations. Another way to think of it is to use a property of logarithms. If you start out with natural log of e to the x, one property of logarithms allows you to take this exponent and move it out front as a coefficient. So you get x times natural log of e. And because natural log is actually log base e, log base e of e is just 1. So this simplifies to just x times 1. Either way you want to think about it, using this property of logarithms or by thinking of the natural logarithm as the inverse of the exponential function e to the x, this is the key simplification we need. So let's see how that gets used. If I start with the equation e to the 2x equals 4, on the left side, if I plugged in an x, first I'd multiply by 2, then I would exponentiate. So when I'm undoing that, the first thing I undo is the exponentiation. So I start by taking the natural logarithm do that on both sides of the equation. Now the result is the natural log and the exponentiation cancel each other out, leaving me with the exponent 2x now on the left. And one more step to isolate x gives me x is 1 half natural log of 4. That's the exact value. The exact answer. If I want a decimal, I'm going to have to be satisfied with an approximation. And in this case, if we evaluate that on a calculator, we get approximately 0 0.693. Let's do another one. This one looks a little bit more complicated, but we'll use the same ideas. So in this case, the first operation after we plug in an x is subtracting 1. After that, we multiply by 4. After that, we exponentiate. And after that, we multiply by 3. So to undo that, the first thing I have to undo is the multiplication by 3. I'll begin by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. three is prime. I'm not going to be able to cancel it with anything in the numerator. So we'll just keep writing the right side value as 800 over three. The next thing to do is undo this exponentiation. So we'll take the natural log of both sides. And 
This time, let's think of it in terms of that property of logarithms that allows me to take this entire exponent and move it out front. So I end up with 4 times x minus 1 times the natural log of e equals the right side. And this is the same thing I would have obtained thinking of it the other way, thinking of natural log and e to the x as inverses of each other because the natural log of e just simplifies down to 1. So I have 4 times x minus 1 equals the natural log of 800 over 3. Let's finish this up. Divide both sides by 4. Add 1. And that's the exact answer. Plug it into a calculator if you need a decimal approximation. And in this case, that comes out to approximately 3.396. Let's do one more, and this time let's look at what happens if the base is not e. This time I have a base of 3. It turns out we can do exactly the same thing. We could use a log base 3. That would be the inverse of the exponential function 3 to the x. But a lot of times it's easier just to stick with the natural logarithm. Let's do that. So I'll the last thing that happens here is the exponentiation, 3 raised to a power 2x. So that's the first thing I'll undo. But let's use a natural logarithm, log base e. Bring the exponent out front to get 2x times the natural log of 3 on the left side. And natural log of 3, that's not equal to 1. Natural log of e was equal to 1 in the previous example. This is not 1, so we can't just stop writing it. But it has a value. Natural log of 3 is just some number. It's actually a little bit more than 1. Well, I have 2 times x times another number, and I want to isolate x. So all I have to do to isolate x is divide both sides by these numbers that are multiplying x. And to emphasize that, I'm going to do it one step at a time, although you could certainly divide by 2 natural log of 3 all at once. But just to make sure it's clear what's going on here, I'm doing one step at a time. First, I'm dividing by natural log of 3. Then I'm dividing by 2. And this is my exact answer. On a calculator, this comes out to approximately 1.091.